A uniform rope of weight 20 newtons hangs from a hook as shown above. A box of mass 60 kilograms is suspended from the rope. What is the tension in the rope? So off the basis of what we're told here, we know that we have a box of mass 60 kilograms. So I'll show that now. So the mass of our box, M, M is equal to 60 kilograms. Now we're also told that our rope has a weight. Normally the rope doesn't have a weight, it doesn't stretch, we keep it very simple, but now we're dealing with the rope having a weight. Now you have to understand that the weight of the rope is distributed, we're going to assume evenly throughout the entire thing. So the tension in the rope just where it touches with the block and the rope is going to be the weight of the block. But then when we approach near, as we go up, we also have to count for the weight, the portion of the rope's weight that is also pulling down at that point. So as we go up along the rope, we have the weight of the block plus that of the rope. So it's going to increase as you go up the rope because there's going to be more pulling down on it. So just remember that for now, and then we'll get into specifics in a little bit. So the first thing we're going to do is to draw the free body diagram for this block that is hanging on the rope. So we know that we have its weight is pulling down, mg is down, and we know that the tension is directed upwards in the rope, and that we have no x component. So if we write Newton's second law, net force is equal to ma. So for the y-axis, we have the net fy is equal to MAY. We're not going to be accelerating up or down. So AY is equal to zero. So we can cancel that out. So the sum of the Y components is equal to zero newtons. Now if we look at the X axis, sum of all of the X components is equal to MAX. Our object is not moving in the X direction. So its AX is also equal to zero meters per second squared. So we know the sum of the x components of the forces is equal to 0 newtons. But we know that f of x is equal to 0. So there's nothing that's really being done here. We're just showing that there is no x component and there's no x component of motion. The one problem that we do have, though, is in the y-axis. Now, to deal with the tension. So we have the tension, so f t is directed upward then we have the weight of our block pulling it down but in addition to that when we're at the very top of the rope we have the tension force up we have the weight of the block pulling down and we have the weight of the rope pulling it down as well so once again here I'll erase everything to show that a little bit clearer so for here, at the top of the rope, we have the weight of the block pulling it down, and we also have the weight of the rope pulling down the block, which results in a greater force of tension in the rope. So if we now account for that, we find that the force of tension minus the weight of the block minus the weight of the rope is equal to zero newtons. So now if we solve for the force of tension in the rope, we find f of t is equal to mg plus the weight of the rope. If we now plug in the values that were given, that our mass is 60 kilograms, and that the acceleration due to gravity, g, is equal to 9.8 meters per second squared, and that the weight of the rope is equal to 20 newtons, we can find that mass 60 kilograms acceleration to gravity 9.8 meters per second squared plus the weight of the rope which is 20 newtons now carry out multiplication and then our addition we would find that the force of tension at the top of the rope is equal to 608 newtons now the thing to keep in mind is that as i stated before that the force of tension varies throughout the rope. So if we were just at the bottom here, we would only take into account 
the weight of the rope. So the force of tension at the bottom of the rope, FT bottom, is just going to be equal to mg in this case, which would simply be 60 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared, which would give us 588 newtons. So here we can see that the force of tension varies as we go throughout the rope because the rope has a certain weight with a, we're going to consider a uniform distribution, so it's even throughout. So we see that as we get closer to the top, we also have to account for more of the string, more of the rope's weight. So that's why at the top of our rope, it's the force of tension is 608 newtons, whereas at the bottom of the rope, it's only 588 newtons. Now, the question doesn't specify where in the rope, so this is just a good basis to show that the force of tension varies as you go throughout the string. So you can show the bottom, you can show the top, you can show somewhere in the middle where you'd only need to count for 10 newtons pulling it down, and so on. So that's the basic way of finding the tension in the rope if you're giving mass of a block and also the weight of our rope.